Osteoporosis causes more than 1.5 million fractures in the United States every year. Nearly half of those broken bones are vertebrae, or bones of the spine. But now, at Riverside Methodist Hospital, an exciting new treatment is repairing the breaks and perhaps more importantly, dramatically reducing patients' pain. Chris Weber has the details. Beth O'Brien is 83 years old. Last September, she slipped on the sidewalk near her home and broke two bones in her back. And I knew immediately that I'd done some damage to my body because I was in excruciating pain right then. More than three months later, the excruciating pain persisted, and the medication that Beth was taking for it was becoming less and less effective. Desperate for relief, she found out about a promising new non-surgical procedure called vertebroplasty, which was being performed here at Riverside Methodist Hospital with dramatic results. Vertebroplasty is a minimally invasive procedure to help alleviate pain from compression fractures of the spine. And what we do is use x-ray guidance to insert a needle into the bone that's fractured and then we inject a bone cement that stabilizes the fracture from the inside to help alleviate pain. Dr. McGraw performed the very first vertebroplasty in Ohio in 1998. Nationally renowned for his pioneering work with this procedure, McGraw has studied the results of vertebroplasty on his patients and has been extremely encouraged by the results. I um, tracked my first 100 patients who underwent this procedure. Before undergoing vertebroplasty, the average pain score of my patients, with zero being no pain and 10 being the most severe pain they've ever had, was 9.4. So you can see it's very, very significant. After vertebroplasty, at follow-up, the average pain score was 1.9. So you can see that the, uh, the amount of pain relief this procedure can provide a patient is tremendous. Beth O'Brien agrees wholeheartedly. She was a little sore right after the procedure, but by the next day, her pain and the medication she'd been taking to relieve it were nothing but a memory. I was not only surprised, but I was relieved and rejoicing because I had no pain. And it was the first time since I fell. It was just wonderful for me, and I want everyone else to know about it because it is a great procedure. Of all the procedures that I do in interventional radiology, this is truly one of the most rewarding, with patients being able to get out of bed literally two hours after the procedure, um, virtually pain-free. Vertebroplasty is most successful when it's performed within one year of when the fracture occurs.